Welcome to another episode of Dead Man Walking on the Green Mile, where we discuss how fucked is Tony Abbott this week. G'day viewers, it's Wanga Fat Wednesday, which is an acronym that stands for What Am I Not Giving a Fuck About Today? And today, I'm not giving a fuck about the fact, uh... Key members of the Australian federal government have said they've lost confidence in Gillian Triggs, who's the president of the Human Rights Commission. Well, why don't I give a fuck about that? Well, because they're assholes, basically. A little bit of a backgrounder, the Human Rights Commission is an independent body. And to keep its independence, people like the president were appointed for a fixed term of five years. So the government of the day couldn't interfere with them if the commission said, you know what, you're doing something that's wrong. So guess what this government did? Well, when they got wind of the fact the report coming down from the HRC was going to say, oh, you know that thing you're doing with the kids in uh, detention camps on islands? Uh, that is like torture and a reasonable person would say bad and probably against international law. You know, like all these other people have said, including the United Nations. Instead of taking it on the chin, instead of saying, well, let's look at that, the government's just gone on the attack. And first, and this has just come out, they said that the president should resign. I, I don't have confidence in you saying exactly what I want you to say, so you should resign. Oh, just on the quiet, we're sure you'd get another cushy job, wink wink, so you wouldn't be unemployed, and to her credit, Gillian Triggs, who is clearly a woman of some integrity, which is probably why the government doesn't like her, she's gone, that's a bunch of bullshit there, no way am I stepping down, and here comes the report. And you've got Abbott standing up saying, oh it's a stitch up, it's blatantly partisan. He hasn't actually said this part of the report is factually incorrect. He's just gone, bluster, bluster, bluster. And like I said, I'd like you to point to someone who's come to a different conclusion. Like someone who said, oh, no, no, putting the kiddies in detention, that's ace. You haven't done anything wrong there. You go, buddy. And they've gone, oh, why did they say it when we were in government rather than Labour? Oh, despite the fact the same people presented the same findings against the previous Labour government, who sure as fuck cannot hold their heads up on this topic. So pretty much... Everything the government has slatted against Gillian Triggs is bullshit. And they'll think, oh, I don't think the Australian public have any faith in it. Despite the fact every survey done on the topic says, no, 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 we think that's pretty spot on. We still have faith in that. So he's talking utter shit. And this, there's been two particular twists that if you are... Uh, into the schadenfreude, as I am with his government, the two fun twists is the opposition has sent a letter to the Australian Federal Police saying, please investigate then Attorney General, I uh, still Attorney General, uh, George Brandis, for this offer made to Gillian Triggs, because that looks like a bribe. As a Green Senator says, well, you know what? It kind of looks like a bribe. It smells like a bribe. So we need an objective analysis of, is it a criminal act? Did he break the law with this? Was it really a bribe or just does it really fucking look like one? That's pretty funny that this is blowing up in their face to the extent that the Attorney General might face criminal charges. But the second thing is like, well, everyone in the Liberal Party is standing rock solid saying, now this is an awesome policy. Except Malcolm Turnbull, the guy who wants to take Tony Abbott's job. Now, when there was a recent spill motion tabled saying Abbott's too fucked to be leader, Turnbull didn't even contest it. But the numbers were still hella damaging to uh, Abbott, like with 40% of the party, which was 60% of the backbenchers, saying, please God, anyone but this fuckwit, even though there's no one running against him. So Turnbull has gone, time's not right, I just want, you know, the cards on the table and let's all see the writing on the wall. Nobody in Australian politics has survived the sort of pressure that Abbott's facing now. He is just a dead man walking. But with Abbott and all his cronies going, oh no, that's bullshit, that's partisan, we don't trust them. Turnbull's come out and said the complete opposite. Gillian Triggs, she's awesome. Kids in detention, that's bad. That's awful. 
Oh, and I loved it when he said, I'm sure everyone is anguished at the idea of kids being in detention. Everyone except Tony Abbott, who point blank, when asked, do you feel any guilt about kids in detention? He said, none whatsoever. Turnbull has so fucking clearly said, all right, I'm coming out and saying, Abbott's an asshole. I'm your alternative. He's a nasty piece of shit. I'm going to try and be reasonable. Behind closed doors, Abbott's head must be fucking exploding right now. Because in political terms, what Turnbull has done has just fired a huge fucking shot across the bow of the HMAS Abbott. He's just said, hey, it's on, fucker. And he's actually signalled to all the backbenchers and honestly also the ministers who are sick of Abbott. He's just gone, you know what? I'm putting myself out there. It's only a matter of time now until I mount a formal challenge. Wouldn't it all be better if we just convinced Tones to walk the plank? Uh, and I, for one, who take great joy in seeing assholes get what they deserve, couldn't be happier. And if you actually think the actions of Abbott, Brandis and crew with vilifying an independent body and saying they're partisan just because they wouldn't parrot the government's line. If you are on board with that, you're a fucking piece of shit and I don't give a fuck about you.